Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're brand new here. For today's video I have quite a large amount of product empties to share with you. So it's actually so weird sitting down and filming a video like this. I haven't done a sit down video in what feels like forever. Like I said this is a product empties video. I have quite a large amount in front of me. This is only some of them. I have more shit in here because they actually don't fit in this box. I need to buy a bigger storage box for my product empties. But I have been accumulating this for the last few months actually. For it being a few months, it's actually not a lot. We do go through stages of using products, not using products. You've heard it before, I go through stages of doing skincare, not doing skincare. But yeah, I have a decent amount of products that I need to show you and I just really want to get rid of them. <laughs> because they are just sitting on my windowsill uh, collecting dust, literally. So, if you want to see my product empties for the last few months, just keep watching. So, if you've not seen any of my product empties videos before, I basically give you a wee rundown of each product. If I liked it, would I buy it again? And that's it. That is the video. So, I think I'm going to start with hair care because there is a lot of hair care in here. So, the first two products I have is the Sunday Smooth Shampoo and the Sunday Moisture Conditioner. So, I didn't know until recently in a TikTok video that these are actually dupes for the Monday hair care brand. I did not know. So, I tried these out, used them, really, really enjoyed them. I actually got them for Home Bargains. Home Bargains is one of my favourite shops and they have a lot of dupes in, especially at the moment, which I will be... Going to Home Bargains very soon because they have a Drunk Elephant dupe range. But I can remember enjoying these and yeah, I would probably repurchase these again. Next, another shampoo and conditioner. Now, I will say I haven't actually finished these. These are just empty bottles because I don't know if you've seen one of my recent vlogs. I bought the reusable shampoo and conditioner body wash bottles from b &M. And I've just emptied these bottles into them. So technically, I haven't finished using this product, but I have empty bottles. So it kind of counts. So we have the Argan Oil Morocco Shampoo and the Argan Oil Morocco Conditioner. So I have been using these and I'm still currently using these on my hair at the moment. I actually washed my hair last night and it feels great thanks to these two products. So yes, I do enjoy it. And yes, I would repurchase. Another little duo. I swear it's not just shampoo and conditioner. I got these both from a recent glossy box and it's by the brand Inner Sense and this is the Colour Awakening Hair Bath and then the Colour Radiance Daily Conditioner. Now, I think I like choosing it, you know, I love getting a glossy box, I love trying all these new products. Would I repurchase? Probably not. The smell of it though, oh, it smells like something I really can't put my finger on. That is the hair bath, so the shampoo. They really just smell like something and I can't put my finger on it, but they smell absolutely unreal. They did make my hair feel nice, but it's not a brand that I see in the shops that I shop in. So for that reason alone, I probably wouldn't repurchase. I'll just show you a wee close up. This is what we look like. But yeah, haven't seen this brand in any of the shops that I shop in. I haven't even looked at the price of these. Usually when I used to do my glossy box videos, I would look at the prices, all the products that I got sent. But yeah, it was nice. Again, like trying all my glossy box products. Okay, another product from a glossy box. I think I've had this previously as well. It's a Philip Kingsley Elasticizer Booster Restoring Conditioner. Just give you a wee close up there. This is what the packaging looks like. Um. Again, I tried this actually so long ago. Um, nothing is actually sticking out to me about this. I've obviously liked it because I have finished it, even though a little mini size like this would probably do one condition for me because my hair is so long and thick. I've probably only used this once. Um, but yeah, nothing's really sticking out to me about this product. What about again? Probably not. Last hair product we have is actually a Batiste dry shampoo. An absolute classic slash staple in every person with hairs collection. Uh, this is the Coconut and Exotic Tropical. I absolutely love this one. The smell of it. Oh, it just it brings back nostalgia. Like, it honestly brings back nostalgia. I know Batiste gets some hate for whatever reason, but I absolutely love it. Yes, I enjoy using it. It always helps when you need it. I would repurchase this again, but I actually have a different kind in my drawer at the moment. I actually have the original one in my drawer at the moment. I do have other dry shampoos, but none of them really work for my hair like the Batiste ones. So, yes, 100% will always repurchase 
Batiste dry shampoo. Okay, so moving on to body, we have two different Dove shower gels, body wash, whatever you want to call it, because you know, I am a Dove girly. I absolutely love Dove. So the first one we have is the bigger bottle, and it's the Dove Reviving Pomegranate and Hibiscus. So, yep, absolutely love this. Would 100% repurchase again. Um, it's not my favourite one. I like the original one that I'm going to show you next. Uh, that's my all-time favourite one. But for something a wee bit more refreshing, with a wee bit more scent, this is amazing. I absolutely love it. And like I said, the next one we have is just a wee mini one. And it is the Dove Nourishing Silk. Again, absolutely love this. I currently have a big bottle of this in my bathroom. So, yes, love it already repurchased it, we'll continue to use this. So next we have another double product. We have a mini version and a full size version of the Women's Mitchum deodorant and this is the Triple Odor Defense 48 Hour Powder Fresh. Now I have used this for so so long. I started using Mitchum Women's for five years ago now and I have never looked back. So I love it, it works, it really helps with the sweatiness and as I've said before, I'm a sweaty girl. And um, I don't know if you can see, no you can't, my perfume and deodorant all sits up there. There is two more of these at the back. So that's the answer to the question. Would I repurchase? Yes. And I already have. So next we have another body wash and it is the Snow Fairy by Lush. Got it for Christmas, you know, it's just the Christmas scent. I absolutely love it. I only really like purchasing this around Christmas time though, just because it's got like Christmas connotations to it. So, yes, I would repurchase, only at Christmas time. So next I have three fragrances. Some of them still have some left in them. It's time for them to move on. I have had them for quite a while, so it's just time for them to move on. So I have three of the Victoria's Secret body space. Pure, pure nostalgia. So the first one, which I don't actually think you get anymore, which is absolutely gutting because this was my favourite one. This is the Pure Seduction. Oh my god, I absolutely love this one. This one, holy fucking grail. Love this, love this, love this. If I can repurchase, 100% would. I have looked online and I don't think you get it anymore. I have been in the Victoria's Secret shop as well and I haven't seen it. So that is quite upsetting. Why would they do that? The next one I have is the Love Spell, which I'm sure you can still get. I really like this one as well, but I don't think I'd repurchase. The pink one has my heart. And the last one, which I've only recently stopped using, and it still has a decent amount in it, but I just felt like I need a different fragrance for every day, because these were my everyday wear, especially if I was at work. Um, this is Amber Romance. I'm positive you can still buy this one again. This is my least favourite one out of all of them. It does really smell nice, but... I wouldn't repurchase this one. So only one bit of skincare. This has not been a good skincare few months. But anyway, this is another Glossy Box special. Uh, it's the Niacinamide. Niacinamide? Niacinamide? Niacinamide serum. <laughs> and it's by the brand Gorgia Bay. This is what we look like close up. Um, I actually think I really did enjoy this. There has been a lot of serums that I have really, really enjoyed for Glossy Box and I really think this was one of them. Do you know what? I do a lot of things at convenience when I really shouldn't be like that, but the convenience of things, it's just, that's the way I think sometimes. So because this isn't a brand that, again, I would see in the regular shops that I shop in or the online websites I go on, for that reason, I probably wouldn't repurchase. The last three products are all makeup. So the first one we have is the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. Again, absolutely love this. I love the way it looks on my brows. I have repurchased two more of these um, when I went on my recent holiday. So yes, I would 100% repurchase this and I will until I find a better brow pencil for my brows. Then we have a concealer absolute classic concealer. It is the Maybelline New York Instant and Age Eraser in shade 1. So I absolutely love this concealer. I love the way it looks on the skin. I love the way it covers my dark circles under my eyes. I have actually repurchased this already in three different shades. So yeah, I would repurchase this and will continue to repurchase this until I find a better concealer. Last product, we have a mascara. So this, I believe, was from a glossy box. It is by the brand Butanic Beauty and it's Great Lengths Mascara, Lengthening and Thickening Mascara. Um, cute packaging and this is the wand we have. 
I um, absolutely love this and I actually use it to the death. I probably should have got rid of this quite a while ago but I just could not part with this mascara. Um, now that I've actually brought it up again I think I might need to go online and repurchase this. So that just answered that question. Yes, I will repurchase this because I absolutely love this mascara. That is all the empties I have accumulated recently. I'm so glad to just get all of that put in the bin. And the recycling as well, I recycle. But the recycling in the bin, I just need it out of my space because it was messing up my fucking juju. <laughs> just being cluttered on the windowsill. I just need to get this out there. And it's been on my to-do list to film this empties video for so long. But just life is getting in the way at the moment. <laughs> so that is all the empties I have to show you in today's video. I hope you enjoyed and if you did don't forget to like and subscribe. I could really use your support and until next time see you in my next video. Bye!